The following scenario is one that will be familiar to many home carers. As you watch, think about how the negative outcome might have been prevented. Now, you'll have to stop at that fire or you'll burn the house down. I was just trying to get it going. The, that bloody fire, it's no use. Jack, I'll do the fire. You don't have to do it anymore. Uh, I need to do it before this evening when it'll get cold. Let's give us some of those sticks. I'll see if I can get it. Jack, come on. I'll do the fire. Let me do it. For God's sake, woman, you can't do it. I can't understand. It's important to help home carers and people with dementia to find positive ways to cope with the necessary adjustments in their lives as their dementia progresses. This module is about supporting the person and their family through communication, being creative about supporting the person, and inspiring meaningful positive occupations for the person with dementia. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Very good to see you. Thank you very Not much for coming. Really Taking a condescending attitude towards the person with dementia can increase their frustration levels. It is important to include Jack in an adult-to-adult -adult conversation about his care that is in no way patronising. Asking simple questions that will be easy for the person with dementia to answer will help make them a part of any decisions that are made. In this instance, when Sarah sees that the public health nurse is including Jack, she starts to do the same. Be mindful of the degree of expressed negative emotion, such as disapproval or disgust, at what the person may be doing. This can help escalate a situation into conflict. So, Jack, whose job was it to light the fire? Is it yours? Oh, of course it is. I've always done that. Although, you, you've tried it sometimes, haven't you, Sarah? But not very successfully. <laughs> uh, sometimes I get it going, all right. But you used to be great at it. Yes, you were. <laughs> well, we are having a bit of trouble with the fire now lately, aren't we, Jack? Uh, I suppose uh, the new coal is very hard to get lighted. The open fire is a serious safety concern for Sarah and Jack. Supporting family members to develop their own prevention ideas is where the public health nurse can play an important role. This approach empowers the family to respond to new issues with their own creative solutions. Is there any other way of heating the house apart from the fire? Well, we do have the oil central heating, but uh, we don't use it that much. I'm not really sure how to use the timer. Is there anyone that could show you how to use the timer? I use the oil heating myself at home all the time and I find it much handier and safer than going to the trouble of lighting a fire. Well, there's Kieran. That's um, Jack's nephew. He's an electrician and he could probably show me how to use the timer all right. What do you think, Jack? What? Oh, yeah. Uh, Kieran is a lovely fella. He's doing very well in school. I'll show you a picture of him. Oh, Jack, the nurse doesn't want to see a picture of Kieran. Sit down. Oh, God, I can handle this sort of thing, but... He has me stressed out with worry over lighting the fire. I'm afraid to leave the house because I'm afraid he'll burn it down. Well, there are a couple of things that you could do that might help Jack, though. 
Have you thought about taking away the coal and the sticks and using the heating more? If he's warm and comfortable, it might stop Jack being reminded of lighting the fire. Well, that's a good idea. I hadn't thought of that, actually. Using the person's life story as a resource, the public health nurse can encourage family members to think about meaningful daily occupations for the person with dementia, for example, gardening or walking. At the moment then, what does Jack do during the day? Well, not much. We used to go down to the shops together, that kind of thing, but we don't really do that anymore. Well, it could be that he's a little bit bored and uh, things like the fire are a distraction for him. Is there anything that you find he likes doing? Well, now you mention it, we, we did go for a walk the other day. We used to do that a lot, but between one thing and another we've got out of the habit. He does like walking though. I hear you like walking, Jack. Uh, yes, uh, I do. Thank you very much. Uh, it's good to get out in the fresh air. <laughs>